Hi there, and welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I hope that the weather wherever you are is as beautiful as it is out here in California. It kind of brightens up the week, doesn't it? So I'm here to talk to you today about creating a raster image out of your drawing file. Sure, you can go out and you can buy programs that let you do that, but did you know that you can do it and do a great job of it right inside of AutoCAD? Let me show you how. I'm going to go to the Tools pull-down menu and I'm going to go over to the Wizards. And there's this great Add a Plotter Wizard, right? I'm sure many of you are familiar with that. I'm going to go ahead and hit a Next right here. We, of course, are going to want to save this file onto our computer, so we'll leave that option as it is. And here's the good part, you'll see at the very bottom of the listing, maybe you never noticed this before, but underneath manufacturers is the raster file formats. And over here on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see all different types of formats that are available to you. For example, let's say I just want a simple BMP file, but you can pick the ones that you want. There's JPEGs, there's PNG files, there's TIFF files. Let's go to the next page. Now in my case, I'm not going to import a PCP or a PC2 file, so I'm going to keep going. Once again, I'm going to keep going here. And let's give it a name. Let's call this your uh, raster file, or maybe BMP, or, or, or whatever you want. It's completely up to you. That way you'll always be able to, when you go ahead and print, you can always call this up. You don't have to go through this process over and over and over again. All right, so I'm going to say edit the plot, plotter configuration, because this is actually a very important aspect of creating raster files, because here you get a chance to decide just how high you want to bump that resolution up to. You'll see there's a pretty high resolution there. You can go all the way down to 480 by 640. That's pretty low resolution, but this is a really important part of the procedure. Of course, the higher the resolution, the larger the file, but then the higher the definition is going to be. You'll also see, I also think this is important, underneath custom properties, you will see that there's an option that lets you control the background color. I know I've had a lot of people asking about that. So you can decide exactly what color you want the background to be. In most cases, it's either going to be white or black, depending on what you're going to use the raster file for. So it's really just that simple. When you're done with this, you'll see that you now have the ability to print to raster anytime you go into the print option or the plot option, completely up to you. So have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you next Tuesday.